Breaking news, guys. Niger Delta Group gives Federal Government of Nigeria 14 days ultimatum to release Namdi Kano. When I see this matter of Mazin Namdi Kano matter, very soon the government of this country will be on its own. Yes. Let nothing happen to this man. The way they are dragging this matter, Nigerians are saying release him. Let him go. But the federal government of Nigeria do not want to let Mazenam the Kano go and with those, you know, criminals who are blocking his, you know, his release. Why? You understand? Because I see no reason why Nam the Kano should be should still be in the custody, even with the way he was brought to Nigeria. The court said it was against his fundamental human rights. You understand? It's even against uh, a national law, international law, I meant to say. So why is he still in DSS, DSS custody? Till now, he's not facing any, any trial. He not get any case to answer. He just there. No matter when they don't go, where they don't go, come at before, that is where they are going, going back to now. It does not make sense. It does not make sense. Everybody is saying the same thing. Release this man and let him go. Now, the federal government, they reason, you know, on their own part. From OK Samson, Umwahia, a Niger database group, the association group, uh, the Association of Niger Data Upland Communities, has given the federal government a 14 days ultimatum to release the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdi Kano, in a statement signed by Osa Obiri, the president and wisdom OT, the secretary, the group threatened that failure by the federal government to yield to his core would exhibit tension in the land and lead to unrest and public. Uh, demonstrations. The later address to President Bola Tinubu read, We are writing to you on the behalf of the Association of Niger Data Upland Communi Communities and consigned citizens to urgently release our Igbo stroke Biafra brother and activist Namde Kanu, who is presently detained for peaceful advocating for the just distribution of natural resources in our regions. This man has not violated any laws and he is simply exercising his right to demand what rightfully belongs to us. We urge the government to release this activist and engage in a dialogue to address his concerns, which are shared by many of us. Failing to release him may only exhibit tension, potentially leading to arrest and public demonstrations. We sincerely believe that through dialogue and mutual understanding, a resolution can be achieved that benefits all parts involved. We, we, we respectfully urge the government to take the necessary steps to release Namdi Khan within the next 14 days for the betterment of our regions and the nation as a whole. But your inability to release our leader, Kano, we unrival words, we shock the whole world. We, the Niger Data Upland Committee, will expose the high and the mighty, the group said. Has, the group said it has faith in the leadership of President Bola Tinobu, believing he would do the needful by releasing Kano and by so doing, Upholding justice and fairness. Okay. Uh, a word is a, enough for the why. All the evils should leave God of Israel aside and support Russia freedom. Okay, someone just dropped that. You people should know that the Biafra war with Nigerians is still ongoing until the signing of true federalism, then Nandi Kano will be released. To his own people. That is what he is fighting for. Not to share the country. God Almighty will continue to guide and protect him even after he achieved his aims. Amen. Third is own. Mazenam the Kanu is not only speaking for Biafrans, 
but for indigenous nations of Nigeria facing aggression from invading Fulani terrorists. God's time is the best for the Niger Delta people to come out with the demand to release the God Saint Man, Mazinam de Kano. It shows that God has not abandoned us, his children, and there is hope for peace and love for one another in Nigeria, which enemies don't want, but God will shame the killers in Nigeria. I thank God, God for guidance and protection in Jesus' name. Okay, these are reactions. So the way this government is heading, Igbos is very bad. Sunday Igbo has been released. Bello has also been released at the killings and kidnapping that were done by mostly Fulanese for complete eight years of Buhari leadership. He has not been looked into. Neither has investigations, nor arrests been made. But they keep suffering in Namdekano. Even when the Apis court has cleared him, it is very it is a very big mistake to under underrate somebody and still keep provoking him. Okay, guys, these are some reactions from Nigerians. What's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Thank you and bye for now.